Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the uh, podcast. If you're a new listener, welcome. If you're a veteran, welcome back. Uh, today, we're going to talk about what to do at the end of the training session. Is that? Yeah, obedience. Any, really. Yeah, basically, what, what to do at the end of the training session. Yeah, Is, obedience. Obedience. Yeah, sorry. I mean, specifically obedience. Well, it could apply to anything else, but in obedience, it's, it's uh, you know, it's it's very pronounced. Okay, it's a secret. This is a secret. Hans is telling you guys. Yeah, it's a secret. We should just end the show and just like people <laughs> guess it. People now you gotta guess it. now you gotta buy a video for one hundred fifty dollars to to find the answer <laughs> to find that. Yeah. So Hans been we've been nice up to this point, like recording all these episodes, but this one <laughs> this is gonna cost you. <clears throat> you have to pay up. <laughs> You click down and, and, and yeah. you pay up before, and then like five minutes later, you got to yeah. pay another 50 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> we drip it out. Yeah. So you don't get even the full thing, even then. You get like partial, uh, partial answer. That, was, that, that would probably end us pretty quick. I know. That was it. People protest and. Yeah, it would know. be pitchforks and yeah. torches. And yeah. I love when people complain on like Facebook. Uh, wow, Facebook, this, social. I'm like, it's free. Yeah, yeah. So shut yeah. up. So, like, <laughs> unless you paid for the ad, like it's free. Like people complain about it's free. Yeah. <laughs> or YouTube this, it's it's free. <laughs> like, yeah. No. Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, Facebook people bitch about Facebook and yeah. and and you know, I don't like certain things, but you know what? You don't have to be there, man. Yeah. You yeah. know, it's a tool. It's like a screwdriver. You know. Yeah. You know, so so if you're a screwdriver, if you don't like your screwdriver, well, yeah, you know, get a different one. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. YouTube, I love. I mean, for the you know, if you want, I mean, siphoning out the what's good and that's that's always a difficult. With with so much content coming at us to see to know what is correct or not correct or, or closer to correct, that's hard, right? I mean, how's someone right now watching this? Like, okay, there's Hans talking about this and that, but is he? Is this correct? Is this right? Is he? You know, it's like, well, but you, they have to travel the road too. Well, bit, you know? that's the so, question. Is it true or and right what I'm saying? Well, they, if somebody just bought a dog, never had a dog, and is watching first time, that they, they wouldn't know. But if somebody walked a little bit of the road, then they start seeing like, okay, I've heard that before. I heard this. I think that's the only way to to. Yeah. to, to I mean, I'm, there's no. You know, for the yeah, person. truth is, we cannot grasp the truth. No, no. You know, people think, people always, you know, the, 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 the people who don't like me, say, you know, you always think, well, you think you are right. <laughs> okay, well, what do you want me to do? Just say what, what yeah. I think is wrong? Well, you know? a lot of times you say my opinion. I say it all the time. Yeah. So, okay. So it, 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 it's given when I, you know, yeah. I'm saying something, I don't even have to say it's my opinion. Yeah. It is my opinion. But at some point, some people want to say, I, I want to put my trust in you, you know? So, you know, there's, there has to yeah, be something. Yeah, but you got to always, you got to always uh, a question, you know? Yeah, test it, right? You know, what is this, the, the yeah. hippies back then, they would say question of authority, right? Yeah. Where did that go? Yeah. Now people say, oh, I want authority to tell me what to do yeah. because I'm too lazy and too stupid to figure it well, out then for myself. For it. Then, then it's going to cost you, right? Yeah, it's going to yeah. cost you freedom. Yeah, yeah. That's the first thing. Yeah. And then it may cost you money. Yeah. You know, and... Uh, but, 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 you know... Test it. Test, right? You got to do it, it, test yeah. it. Yeah. You know, and ask a thousand people and make up your own mind. Yeah. yeah. And remember, majority is always wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no. No, no. No, that's, it, that's true. That's that. That is. I, I mean, I, you can bet like bottom dollar on that. You know, maj, you know, majority yeah. is always wrong. So you're watching this right now, uh, and you're hearing something different, and because you said, "Well, that, that's not what I see on YouTube. <laughs> that, that's what I have to say. It's well, majority well, is a lot of, often wrong." Well, Milan Kundera, right, the Czech novelist. You know, he says there's no point to write a book unless you say something new. New, yeah, you know, yeah. And to keep repeating, like a lot of these uh, trainers, they just keep repeating the bumper stickers. Monkey see, monkey does. You know, and, yeah. and it's just like you take, you see one video, you've seen them all. Yeah, pretty much. You know, and that's why I'm here. You know, I I, I just want to give you different perspective. Yeah. I, I say truth is like a ball, yeah. right? Yeah. And you cannot see holes, all sides of the ball at the same time. No. 
you got to have, you imagine you have like a basketball, right? And you can shine a flashlight on it. That's yeah. that's your point of view, right? Yeah. And okay. you see part of the basketball, but you don't see the other parts of yeah. the basketball. So you got to move, you know? Yeah. The other person holds a flashlight here, another one there, another one there. Yeah. You know, and, and, and hopefully... Only God can see whole ball at the same time. Yeah, it's know. the story of the blind men and or the the what is it, the three blind men and the elephant. Did you hear that one? No. So um, uh, so there's a guy. Uh, well, there's one guy who's not blind, so he's asking these three. Oh yeah, I've yeah, seen that. Yeah, you know, it looks like a snake. Yeah, yeah. so they they all describe the elephant differently. Yeah, you know, and and um, he grabs the tail and says, "This looks like a, a yeah. snake." And, yeah, yeah, and the legs, and they describe right. the legs, and then but. Uh, so basically, and but that person saw the elephant how it actually looks like, and so do you see the whole elephant? That means you're God. Like, it, like yeah. you don't see the whole elephant, right? You know, right. And, and, right. and you 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 talk about this all the time that you still, you know, you 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 it's less and less, but you 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 still find sometimes knowledge that that that. Oh, I yeah. crave it, so, man! Yeah. I crave it. It's just yeah. it's almost addictive. Yeah, you know, to find out more truth. Yeah, and people say, well, you know. Uh, you, you always disagree with me. I said, well, you know, you're, you're opinionated. I said, yeah, I work on my opinions really hard. Yeah. But if you can change my opinion, I'm all here. I'm yeah. all ears. But I'm not going to change it with somebody telling me something ridiculous, which I rejected. Yeah, because you've done 30 it. 30 years ago, yeah, right? You've done it. You practiced it. You, you, you tested yeah. it. You, right? You, so how is it, how is it uh, now dovetail to the training ending oh, thingy? Oh, I don't know. That's... <laughs> Somebody's listening, like, okay, guys, it's been, <laughs> yeah. uh, it's about been eight five minutes, minutes. five minutes, six minutes. <laughs> well, you gotta fill the time somehow. Uh, no, you know, the, the, the one of the things with, with you, you people notice that uh, when you train the dog obedience and 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 then you try to apply in everyday life, yeah, it it it, 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 it the dog doesn't um, correlate what they learn in the obedience class with everyday life. Mm -hmm. And that's why, because there's that undesirable association, mm -hmm. right? With the leash and the location and all that, yep. right? Yeah. And uh, and so when you, when you, uh, uh, you, uh, thunder, thunder, huh? You guys might hear a little thunder <laughs> in the recording, which yeah. is good to hear. We live in Arizona, we haven't had much rain. Yeah, uh, so, so, you know, you, uh, Let's say you, you you know, and plus it works on leash, but then you take the leash off mm -hmm. and it's not working, right? Yeah. Yeah. So so um in order to transfer the dog from on leash to off leash, you, you gotta do it in the first or as soon as you start working the command, right? So and and you do it incrementally right so what i do i tell the dog on leash right yeah first he needs to understand the command right you have those five steps you know the learning conditioning practicing working with it and and reconditioning, reconditioning right yeah. and uh so if you went through the condition i mean the learning and now you are in the conditioning stage so the dog understands the command, and I tell him down on leash, right? Yeah. If he doesn't do it, I correct him on the leash, right? I yeah. say no and jerk on the leash, right? But the dog knows I, the leash is on him, yeah. right? So so as long as the leash is there, he works, right? And then yeah. he takes the leash off. Yeah. And and the the uh, the dog flips you a finger, yeah. right? Yeah. So so. And whose fault is it? You think you know? It's not the dogs. Yeah, not the dogs, right? So we gotta be smarter than ever. We're gonna give you. A, we're gonna give you a clue. It's not the dogs. Yeah, <laughs> we gotta be uh, smarter than average dog, right? Or any dog, really. Yeah. And it's easy, you know. So what? You, what I do? What I recommend people to do? Let's say I give. I I, I, uh, I give the dog. Uh, let's say stay, right? So, and I disconnect the leash, right? And uh, I have my hand behind his neck and uh let, let me start a different way you know what people do the mistake they do let me start with that is they they they, they, they done with the lesson mm -hmm. and they take the leash off and they start hopping around the dog like crazy oh, oh, we oh, yeah. oh, yeah. and, dog is and throw him a ball so as soon as the leash is off dog thinks i don't have to listen anymore mm -hmm. i can get crazy yep, right yep 
So it's important to take the leash off, do it in an enclosed area so the dog cannot get away from you. Yeah. And you take the, 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 the leash off and uh, and make sure the dog uh, is is maintaining that position. So let's say if it sits stay, so it sits stay, right? So so I take the leash off and I uh, I, 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 I take Clip it off and I, I keep my left hand behind his neck and if he tries to even move, I grab him, right? Uh -huh. So no, you stay here, right? Uh -huh. Now we have no leash, right? That's a minimalist in me, you know, no equipment, right? Yeah. And 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 so so and then the dog sit sit there and I tell him down, right? And yeah. he goes down. So he learns that he needs to listen to me even so he's off leash, right? Uh -huh. And I can add more and more commands. So if I know only one command, I just do only one command, yeah. right? Like automatic sit, first heel, automatic sit, so I stop. It takes the leash off. I keep the hand behind his neck, yeah. and then uh, the dog is okay. And I and then I say I clap my hands, and I say okay, go, just like this. This is unusual sound, unusual action from me to the dog. I will never do it by mistake, uh -huh. and that's a sign to the dog that now he can do whatever he wants. Uh -huh. Okay, go, right? I, I clap my hands uh -huh. in front of my mouth, and the dog can go. Right. Mm -hmm. That's a that's if the dog knows only one command, mm -hmm. and then if he knows two commands, let's say down. So I stop. Yeah. We're done with session. I disconnect the leash and I say down. Now with, without the leash, right? Yeah. Get to make sure dog doesn't take off. But they won't take off unless you did crazy stuff like I told you you shouldn't do, right? Yeah, bro, yeah. You know, and 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 so and if he takes off, well, get him back, put him on the leash, say no, and just keep doing it until. Until the dog waits and you take the leash off. Remember, okay. the taking leash off is not permission for the dog to do whatever they want. Yeah. That's not the permission. The permission is okay, go. Yeah, right. That's the permission. Now you now you you do whatever you want. That's like an un, un, undesirable association of. Yeah, sometimes people do. Yeah, we we, we we want to make sure it doesn't become that undesirable. It doesn't become one association. Yeah. So. So I, I, you know, and so, so, so I do, so I have two commands now, right? So I take it, dog sit, I walk, heel, right? And mm -hmm. then I stop. Yeah. And uh, the dog sits next to me, automatic sit. You know, that's what I teach. I teach automatic sit. Mm -hmm. And uh, meaning when I stop, dog sits automatically. Yeah. And I take the leash off and I keep my hand behind his neck and it takes, I can quickly grab him. Mm -hmm. And I wait and then I'll tell him down. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's say he knows down too now, right? So yeah. Two comments, and he goes down, and then I say, "Okay, go," right? Mm -hmm. And then I do sit from down, right? So I say, uh, "A buster down, and sit off leash now, right?" Yeah. I took the leash off, and and dog, the, and then okay, go, right? Yeah. So the, when I take the, and and I keep adding commands, right? Yeah. So I say, I say, "Fifi down, right? Fifi downs or buster." I have these yeah. two imaginary <laughs> dogs, Fifi <laughs> and Buster, right? And and then I do Fifi sit and Fifi yeah. sits and I say Fifi stay, yeah. right? Yes. And I step in front of the dog yeah. and then I say, okay, go, right? Yeah. And I'll do, and, and then I keep adding all the commands. You're conditioning the... Every command, there's a 10 commands, right? Yeah. I say 10, I'm, okay. <laughs> Which is in this video you guys can buy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a little plug. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> there you go. You're also in the 10 commands, so yeah. every... Command every session has one command. You know, we do command per session per week, right? Yeah. So so first session has one command, and yeah. the next command, next command. And so on the end of the session, yeah. I do all the commands which yeah. the dog already knows. Yeah. Off leash. Yeah. I don't want to because I'm gonna forget, but Hans has Hans trained so many dogs that he was telling me the story that when you were working for one of the kennels, there were like a day, like sometimes like 40 dogs a day. Mm -hmm. Like so what you did is that instead of you didn't know which dog <laughs> yeah. what you did, you well, came yeah, up, right? that's different. Thing, I know, right? but this was but well, just what I tell was people saying like, is I, I, I didn't you know <laughs> yeah. there were so many dogs yeah. that I didn't know which dog was where. I first tried to write it down and it was just too tedious, yeah. right? So so and plus, you know, back then I'm not advocating that's the way to train dogs. No. I just was forced to train dogs. You, you had to. This was yeah, you were hired. I, I was hired to train yeah. dogs and they gave yeah. me two, three weeks to train dog ten commands. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I took them, all those dogs, twice a day out, yeah. Yeah. work with them for two to five minutes at a time. Yeah. And uh, 
And, and normally when I teach a client's dogs with client, mm-hmm. I do one comment per session, Yeah. right? Uh, because the client yeah. cannot absorb yeah. more. Too much information. Right? So, but, but over there, I was teaching all commands every session. Mm-hmm. You know, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. right. But this is different, right? Yeah, so, so I, I, when I want to bring a point up that Hans taught like so many dogs in his life that he's yeah, talking from experience. Yeah, this was major kennel in Pennsylvania. I'm not going to say anything. No, 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 no. It was but, a good kennel. I, yeah. I liked it there. Right? Yeah, I was just trying to make a point for someone that's watching this that, you know, you, you've done your time. Oh. <laughs> okay, so just, yeah. yeah. I, 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 Hans doesn't... Yeah. Hans's problem is that he's too modest sometimes, you know, mm. and, and it's about uh, what I know. It's not, not a bad trait to have, but sometimes, you know, I got to nudge him like, okay, Hans, <laughs> tell him a little bit like you, you walk the walk, you know? Well, people, yeah, people, you know, I got, I got this guy said, well, you know, uh, these guys, you criticize their training. They sell dogs to special forces and, and military and police. I said, so, and it still sucks what they do, yeah. you know, you know, uh, uh, depending, uh, you can make millions of dollars on something and it doesn't mean doesn't you are mean, really good at it, right? Know, yeah. If money doesn't equal good. Yeah. Word is, it doesn't, it's yeah. illogical, <laughs> actually. Yeah. The, the yeah. measure how successful you are in the business, and I'm not that successful, I'm kind of moderately successful, yeah. you know, um, it, it's not measure how well you do what you do. Yeah. But when you say success, so it's just, you said you want clarity. I'm talking business. I know, but be clear, like clarity. You like Hans talks about clarity, so that's what he's saying. Yeah, business. Yeah, business. So it's that there's yeah. a so yeah. But people are saying, well, he's not like if you enjoyed this content so far, please subscribe to our channel. Also, Hans has a podcast channel called Dog Training for Life. Check that out so you can listen to the audio version. No, I'm Hans an idiot. Exactly I always say I know nothing, man. Yeah, well, yeah that's yeah. cool. So. It's just you know. Once you more you know, more you realize. That let's you, just let's you, just say the know. dog man, the the all, all the dog people, the major dog people in the industry, know, pretty much they know who you are. So yeah, they just say they don't. Yeah, <laughs> or the ones they say they don't, they lying. So yeah. well, anyway, that's all whatever. Right. Okay. Yeah, whatever. It no. doesn't matter. Okay. I don't care. No, I know. I really don't. I, I truly don't. Yeah. See, he's getting nice. He hates it so much to talk about it. He doesn't even want to talk about it. Well, it's like Musashi, right? The best samurai ever. And he lived in the cave. He it's didn't care. Big deal. Yeah. You know, yeah. he didn't care who knows him or not. That yeah. wasn't what it is about. There were people know. The right people know who Musashi was. Well, yeah, now they do. Yeah. Well, they knew back then. Well, they, they, they yeah. knew it. So. Well, anyway, okay, what, what, what I'm saying is, what I'm going back to yes. training, <laughs> right? It's what, what I'm saying is that. Um, that you keep adding the off-leash chain of different commands. Yeah. Right? So first you do stay, then you do, I mean, then first you do heal, and automatic sit, off-leash, okay, go, then down, then down and sit, or off-leash, and then stay on top of it, and yeah. then come, yeah. you know, and then finish, yeah. and all that. And that's how you transfer the dog from working off-leash, I mean, on totally, leash yeah. to off-leash. Yeah. So it's a process, yeah. you know. Not the e-collar per se. <laughs> no, yeah. We have, well, yeah, that's when people say, well, how do you do it awfully? You know, you have e-collar. Yeah. I say, yeah, what if 2,000 years ago, how did the dogs listen without e-collar? Man? Was, all of a sudden, we figured it out. But um, And Hans is not knocking e-collars in the sense of, he says, well, whatever, you want to use them, use them. But you have to understand these fundamentals. The dog has to have these fundamentals <laughs> down because e-collars fail. You know what, e- e-collar, right, it's just like, they fail. It's, it's it's they fail, but but the point is you don't want to base your training on e-collar. If you want to polish yeah. it or that's not training or enhance it later on, yeah, that's fine. I I I, I don't do it, but uh, but if you want to do it, it's okay, yeah. right? But but to base all training on e-collar and yeah. it's just a trick training. The dog does something because something's on his neck. Yeah, right. And there are trainings like aversion snake training. It's it's really good to use. Uh, yeah, you know. Yeah, for a version the yeah. dog. But you can do that even without e collar. Yeah, I can do probably right. the Oh yeah, leash. no for sure. Yeah, you can as, as Colder said, uh the uh if the dog runs up, you know, runs up to some or something like he says they have him on a long leash and you, you give him a you give him a like a a 
pull that they're going to remember. That's yeah, what correction. Yeah. Correction they're going to remember, and they don't want to do it again. So That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And then you reward them just as strongly as you corrected them. Yeah. He says, yeah. You know? That's a big one, guys. Callers yeah. does say that. So yeah, people pe- that are every yeah. session, you know, yeah. people say, "Oh, caller is just compulsion." Yeah. Well, obviously, don't read his book. Yeah. You know, I mean, people tell me things. You know, they argue with me. They're basically saying what I'm saying, but they argue with me yet. Yeah. And uh, but they don't they don't watch the video or they don't read yeah. what I said and then they argue with me. Yeah, just like yeah. I don't know, we have better things to do than just to argue with me. F- some people with, not with, out of ignorance. <laughs> some you know? people not. <laughs> they they wake up and they they drink their haterade. <laughs> haterade. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. that's about it for about that. You know. But yeah. but <clears throat> in other words, you slowly. Every session, once the dog go through and understand what's going on, it's somewhat conditioned. Yeah. You know, I would go into about 50% of the step to the conditioning step before I would start unhooking the leash. Yeah. Another thing is, you know, since you want to, I mean, we're talking about how to, how to take, uh, the, uh, eliminate the leash when you heal the dog on leash, you know, mm-hmm. we did it last week. You were not there. I was not. Okay. Yeah, uh, you yeah. put the leash in your left hand and you drop it to let the dog drag the leash and yeah. all that. Yeah. yeah, we should do video on that one day. That'd be a good one. Mm. Irina, um, I didn't teach her. I got Irina, my female, uh, from from Hans, you know, through Junipo. Hans, Hans is Junipo. Uh, but uh, I do that with her on leash and then I unhook it. And but she does it, you know, because she's been do it through, through so many times, even without the leash, even unhooking it, she she'll. She'll follow me along. The well, same. you gotta make sure when you do this, right? When yeah, you unhook so that leash, they taught her that well, you yeah. really that you, at first that you reward the dog really quick before they screw up mm-hmm. and release them really quick before they screw up. Mm-hmm. You don't want them to mess up. Yeah, and, you don't want them to. You don't want them to break the command and then so, you know yeah. and then correcting that. Uh, it's just best to avoid that. Mm-hmm. And so, so first I would take the leash off and I would wait for a while. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Mm-hmm. It's okay, mm-hmm. right? And then I would adding up a on time. time on it, and it may take half an hour, and then I say it's okay, right? Mm-hmm. So I don't, in other words, I don't want the dog to think that when they're off leash, they can do whatever they want. Yeah, I think this is this goes with cult, which is people's lack of patience, I guess, because it could be done, but they want it fast, and anything fast has no root. To it, like it's uh, like an oak yeah, tree. Yeah, right? people want like, people. Right, people it's like fast done results. everything yesterday, you know. Yeah, and and it shows, you know, even in dog training or the, the trained dogs. So. Yeah, and there is no, you know, dogs are unforgiving. You know, when you screw up, you will know about it pretty quick. Yeah, if you screw up your training, there's always baggage, mm-hmm. and some you just want that baggage to be as small as possible. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Like when you fly on economy airline. Yeah. <laughs> Especially these days, because they charge you like a hundred bucks if it doesn't fit into that little mold or something. They have a mold. Like, yeah, I don't even know what's going on. I haven't flew since COVID. Uh, yeah. I didn't fly at all. I, I, you know, yeah. I hate flying to big Frontier movies. Airline did that with me and they wanted to charge me a hundred dollars to, to the luggage that I had with me carry on because they had this little thing that it didn't fit in there. It's like a ripoff. Of course, it's a report. Yeah, and they told you they, they said they said that it was in the email that we sent out to you. But there's a there's a class action lawsuit. Somebody's suing Frontier. Yeah. Uh, nah, well, whatever. But whatever. Uh, well, thank you, Hans. This was good. Yeah, good yeah. episode. Um, if you want to purchase uh, educational videos on protection, how to train a dog, a personal protection dog, step by step. It's a four part video series. It's at Alpine Canine Real. Dot com. And there's um, the obedience too. Well, yeah, the obedience one, uh, the Ten Commands, the obedience. Yeah, that's, that's one long. of the most popular video. Well, there's the, yeah. the introductory. Yeah. And then you have the command per session per week. Yeah. And, and it's uh, simple stuff. It's not like rocket science stuff yeah, that yeah. Hans has shown. I recorded it a long, long time. That's that. I was still skinny, man. And uh, yeah, that was, I was like 40 when I did that. It's like 30 yeah. years old video, yeah. but it's still good. So when you, somebody watched it, it was like, well, they, I love, I, it goes, the video I love, I bought it. But somebody said that because it's an older video. Well, it was t- back in the, yeah, not the, it's not 4K. Yeah, I did it in Wickenburg in the park over there. Yeah, yeah. it's not 4K. So, uh, but it's it's the, the information is solid. That's what that's what uh, that's what's important. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Yeah, know? and, and uh, how to pay how to feed your puppy raw, um, the art of war, 
And somebody finally bought it, huh? They bought they bought Art of War. <laughs> one of my yeah. best videos, yeah. man. <laughs> they bought it. And somebody for buy Art of War. It's a good one because Han, as Han says, what are you gonna? What happens if there's a situation? How the video is about how to help the dog when there's a situation. Don't, so you don't stand yeah, there just like don't a stand vegetarian there. sausage. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I'm just yeah. kidding. Don't stand there like a pumpkin. You know, <laughs> like just, a pumpkin. Yeah. Uh, so that's a good, really that's good. holding leash like vegetarian sausage or holding. But I just like the vegetarian uh, sausage. Also, Han says that. Or a uh, big bone, you said. Yeah, no, during uh, obedience training that uh, we're not sometimes, uh, uh, certain people sometimes, of course, not me ever, but <laughs> others, but because uh, you're correcting the dog like you're correcting a hummingbird. <laughs> <laughs> you would not correct <laughs> you would a not, hummingbird. You not correct, yeah. Or, uh, but, uh, and what, you, what else? Uh, so we, we're adding other videos to it. How to make a leash videos on there too. Yeah, so. I think that's pretty popular, amazingly good, enough. Yeah, yeah. I, got, video. I, got, I got this guy from Australia made me to make it, and yeah. the video. Oh, good. Yeah, he yeah. says, I don't want you to say, just to send a leash to the, him from Arizona to oh, Australia would cost like 200 bucks. Yeah, hopefully he can get the leather over there. He probably yeah, he can. It's, it's, it's made of horse range. Yeah. Yeah, he can you know, get just get a just get a horse, horse culture there. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. yeah, I'm sure. So, but uh, yes, and I'll, if you're l looking for a, a puppy uh, or a trained dog, also um, Hans has that. So contact Hans. There's a, at the end of the video you'll see Hans's information. So um, yeah, that's that's yeah. it. So, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Ahoy.